Hi, and welcome to my Calculate Income Tax video for the state of Ohio. Now, this is going to be a look at what state income taxes for Ohio would look like and how it's calculated. Uh, this is not considered tax advice. This is for educational and informational and entertainment purposes only. So if you have any um, questions about your particular tax situation, please contact your accountant or local CPA who can help you out. All right, so we're going to take a look at Ohio. If you've got this white sheet in front of you, you're probably doing my Calculate Net Income Tax um, product from TPT. So you might be doing it for a salary of your own choosing or related to another part of your course. If you're using these colorful sheets, you're doing my Calculate Net Pay resource. Both of these can be found on my TPT account, phieducator.store, or you can find it in the description of this video. But we are looking at the Ohio state taxes. And if you don't have this information in front of you, it's a quick Google away. Just in Google, search for Ohio State Tax Tables 2023 and look for something from the Ohio government, so something with a .gov, or look at something like NerdWallet, which um, typically does a good job of keeping the, their tax tables up to date. Now, if you did an Ohio state tax return last year or you looked at this video from last year, there's been a big change to how Ohio does their taxes. They used to have a much more complicated system where it was like a 0% bracket if you made below a certain amount of money, but if you made more than that, then you did pay into the bracket and then you continued on as normal. Now it's just like they, they write it this way with like a 0% bracket, but really this is their standard deduction. And it's the same for single or married filing joint. So essentially Ohio has a $26,050 standard deduction. So a 0% tax bracket for that first 26,000 and then there's brackets after that, but there's no asterisk this time for if you make more than this, than that, or anything like that. So they are making an effort to simplify their tax system. I think they're trying to also reduce the amount of taxes owed by residents of Ohio. So the, um, the state government is making efforts there to make their taxes less and simpler to do. All right, so let's get started. For the purposes of this video, I'm just going to do a salary of 130000 not because that's an average salary for Americans or people living in Ohio, but just it gives me a good number for going through a couple of brackets. I'm aiming to go through a couple of these brackets with you um, to show you how it works and what it looks like. So our salary is still 130,000. The state standard deduction. So we go to you know our tables. Remember, Ohio doesn't technically have a state standard deduction, but they're really saying that their first bracket is a standard deduction. I like putting it up here because it just fits in nicely with the other states as well, but you could also make your first bracket a 0% bracket. So 26050. If you're looking at this a little bit after I've recorded this video, you might see another box in this space here. Um, that would be where your traditional IRA or 401k contributions would go. So those are contributions to a tax shelter. So you are not paying taxes on it today. Instead, you're opting to pay taxes on it in the future. And some states, not all, some states will also reduce your taxable income for contributions to accounts like that, or maybe like a college savings plan, a 529. Um, you do have to check with your individual state to see if they do allow you to deduct it or not. Um, most tax prep software will ask you that or an accountant will know that information very quickly. So it's unlikely you'll have to do this yourself, but that is just something worth knowing that you can deduct traditional contributions from your state income tax as well as your federal. All right, so let's do that. So 13, one, two, three, minus 26050. So we get 103,950. And that is our taxable income for um, state of Ohio for this one. So that number is going to come down 103,950. So that's our taxable income. The first bracket, now the way the brackets work is we've already done the 0% one. We made that our standard deduction. We look at how much the bracket holds. So what is the amount um, that it holds? And that's calculated by doing the higher number minus the lower one. In our case, we're going to do 100,000 minus the previous high number because that's what we technically taxed. That extra dollar in there is saying like it's from the 26,051st dollar to 100,000, so it's inclusive. Uh, we want to subtract those two to get the true amount. So we have 100,000 minus 26,050, 
and we have 73,950. 103,000 is higher than that, so we're going to fill this box up completely. And the rate is 2.75%, so 0 0.0275. You just divide the percentage by 100 to get the decimal for your rate. Multiply the two of those, so 73,950 times 0 0.0275. And we get $2,033.625. Now notice that there is a third decimal spot here, which means there's a half cent. Um, the rule, as far as I know, is that it will round to the nearest whole cent. So the five will round this up to become 0.63. So we'll have 2033.63. Now we've taxed 73,950. We don't want to pay taxes on that again, so we're going to subtract that from our taxable income. So that's why there's the little subtraction and equation line. So 103,950 minus 73,950, and we have an even 30,000 left. All right, the next bracket holds, we see, we got 115,000 minus 100,000, so that would be 15,000. 300. All right, so we got more than that, so we're going to put in the full 15,300. And 15,300, let's see, times the rate, and we are at the 3.661. So 0 0.3688. Actually, there should be another zero in there, so it's a long decimal. So 0 0.0. 3688. So 15300 times 0 0.03688. There we go. So we get 564.26. Now that 4 does not technically round up to the nearest whole cent, so my understanding is that this will stay as a 0 0.26. All right, so we've taxed 15,300. So 30,000 minus 15,300, we got 14,700 left. This bracket, we're into the last one, is unlimited. So there's no higher bracket. So whatever is left is gonna get taxed at this amount. So we put the full 14,700 in. And the rate for this one is 3.75, so 0 0.0375. 14,700 times point zero. 375, and we get $551.21. Sorry, 25 cents. That's it. We've finished. There's nothing left to tax, so we get to add up our total taxes owed, and that is going to be our final number. So I have 2033.63 plus 564.26 plus 551.25. 3149.14. And that would be our total amount of state income tax owed for Ohio, Ohio on a salary of 130000 Thanks so much for watching. If you want to find this resource or my Calculate Net Pay resource, you can find them in the description of the video, or you can head on over to phieducator.store, and you'll find them both there. Thank you so much.